Hello. Hello, guys. Hello, all. Um, thank you for attending uh, this Pinnacle uh, presentation. Um, so this presentation um, is meant to just give you guys an overview of how Pinnacle Light uh, can help you guys um, improve productivity within team members, especially now uh, where majority um, of users um, are setting up and working from home. So just to get started, this is uh, just going to give you um, an overview of about H2K. So H2K does provide uh, not only the software, but we also, uh, we as technical also work uh, within the consulting team. Uh, we help implementing training. Uh, H2K will also have IT management services uh, available for those who require um, that as well. So, uh, I'm Leticia Pescador. Uh, I'm one of the technical consultants uh, within H2K. Um, I help uh, with the implementation of Bing technology, including Revit, Bing 360, etc. Uh, and I've been working with H2K for over four years now. So, uh, also, uh, I help on supporting and troubleshooting uh, those products uh, that we sell. And I have a background in architecture and urban design as well. Um, so this slide is just to show you guys before we get started within Pinnacle Light on how uh, usually uh, Pinnacle can help you on your learning uh, path. Um, so, Pinnacle, so Pinnacle sits pretty much uh, within the bottom of when you start learning a new feature. So uh, learning from scratch can be challenge. And usually we suggest users to jump into either one of our instructor-led training uh, if they're very new to a software. Uh, or even face-to-face, -face, uh, maybe a later stage when this crisis is all gone. Uh, then after they use a little bit of software, uh, they then go for advanced training, uh, which will touch on more advanced features that the software may have available uh, for those users as well. And then towards the end, we can then suggest like customized training, uh, for advanced workflows or something very specific to the tasks you guys perform within your company. And Pinnacle pretty much supports those three stages because Pinnacle is a self-guided platform that will help users uh, keep uh, refreshing uh, the skills they have learned through uh, other trainings they may have done. Uh, so Pinnacle Guide, uh, Pinnacle Light, uh, it's pretty much a self-guided training solution which will focus on AC users uh, to support their ongoing skills development. Uh, HOK has worked along with Pinnacle to ensure uh, additional Autodesk content is available to support your team members, especially during this time where most of people working remotely uh, and help maximizing uh, productivity while using design, to, design tools uh, by compiling multiple training resources within a single platform so people can pretty much easier uh, overcome challenges uh, they face on a day-to-day -day tasks uh, or even when learning new features uh, with the software. Uh, Pinnacle Light content so is made of four different types. Um, workflows will have a step-by-step -step approach to a process uh, on how a user can achieve a certain task um, to be completed uh, in order to complete their work. So workflows will pretty much go step by step on, on certain tasks that users require to perform with the software. Uh, documents are used 
uh, pretty much to share information, which can be talk, uh, specific to topics, can be tips and tricks, Q and A's, etc. Uh, videos are quick uh, demonstration of how tasks can be achieved within software. And learning paths will be a self-paced learning course. Um, and it can be made of a combination of videos, documents, quizzes, etc. Uh, so from here, we'll jump out this PowerPoint presentation and I will demonstrate what Pinnacolite looks like um, in a web browser. So just give me one second. I'll just uh, open my Pinnacle. Uh, so when you receive access um, to Pinnacle Lite, um, users that have subscribed to the Autodesk uh, library within Pinnacle. Uh, so this is pretty much the Pinnacle interface before uh, I jump here. Uh, within the left hand side, you're going to have all the assets library that you have been given access. So the Autodesk library will come with all those products and content related to a variety of Autodesk software. Um, also, you will have this Autodesk construction cloud, which is pretty much focused on the BIM 360 and the cloud products Autodesk has available. Uh, also, they made available uh, the Bluebeam and Scape Lunion um, for and the V-Ray as well, along with uh, the Autodesk library. Uh, for this month, and I'm pretty sure for the upcoming month, Pinnacle Light has also made available for free for users this business and management skill, as well as the Microsoft content. Uh, so everyone can start learning um, new products or new tasks they may require to achieve. Um, looking into the Pinnacle uh, interface, so we saw that here we're going to have uh, our set libraries, the ones we have been given access. Uh, within the top right hand corner here, uh, we're going to have uh, buttons to navigate through the different uh, areas uh, of the interface. Uh, towards the very uh, last button for the user information, users can access their profile information, update the pictures, uh, etc. Also here they can change the language. And Pinnacle supports uh, a variety of languages, uh, which will then update the Pinnacle website main language, as well as the transcriptions of videos. So someone that may not have a really good uh, English skills may be able to use Pinnacle to learn new features within their, the language they feel more um, comfortable of. Uh, so going back to my main screen, uh, here within Pinnacle uh, search um, field, we're going to have the capability to search for any content that may be available across the entire asset library we have access. So if I go here and I just hit um, for a wall as an example, um, that will search and list all contents that have the wall as a keyword uh, within the concept. Uh, within the left hand side here, we're going to be able to pretty much start filtering out the result based on publisher or maybe you just want a certain asset uh, to start learning as well. Uh, maybe this is from a specific product, so maybe this is a Revit uh, wall. Uh, so this is your capability to pretty much search for anything across the entire uh, library you have access. Uh, I'm going to click my home button and I'm just going to go back here to my main uh, interface. Uh, within the left side here, I can also go and browse within a specific product uh, to start learning features available for that. Um, in this case, I will pick Revit. And 
when I select Revit, in a minute, the learning paths, workflows, documents, and videos that are available within this specific software will then be listed across the four main areas of content that Pinnacle has available. Uh, within the top here, if you're working with previous versions of the software, even though sometimes it doesn't change that much, uh, we can still filter it out based on the year release of the software you are using. And here you're also going to have capability to search for titles that are within this Revit library. Um, so just expand within a learning path as an example. Uh, learning paths in Pinnacle are like courses. So if I click within my Revit Architectural Fundamentals course as an example, uh, this course will be made or this learning path will be made of multiple courses, uh, which are the breakdown of the software content that is available. Uh, if I expand within this introduction to Revit, we're going to have pretty much uh, an overview, a course description of what's covered. Uh, and here towards the bottom, we're going to have the content list covered within this area or this course. Uh, to join uh, this course, I can click this button to go into the course. Uh, often courses uh, will have pretty much data sets that can be available. So under the introduction panel, often you may have data sets that can be downloaded to follow up the training. Uh, you don't need to progress from one specific um, video and go in order towards the bottom. You can jump through different areas or different content within this specific course. Um, so as an example, if I go to the introduction to Revit video as an example, um, if I hit play here within my video, uh, my transcription of the video will be available within the right hand side. Uh, if I leave the auto scroll button enabled, as the video progresses, uh, it will highlight in the text which time uh, stamp of the video we are dealing with in the text we have on the right hand side. Uh, also, because it, most of the videos will have transcripts, uh, we can anytime just uh, also, uh, they will also be available within the video itself at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if I disable this auto scroll button, users can also browse through the text transcript of the specific video and find a related area where he wants to be focused on within the video itself. And that will pretty much advance the video to that specific location. So that will help you users browsing through content quite quickly within those videos. Uh, if you have set your language within your, your Pinnacle profile to a different language, uh, your transcript uh, within the video itself, as well as on the right hand side, will be uh, then within the language uh, you have selected. Um, so back to my main screen, uh, I will now just show you uh, an example of a um, learning path, sorry, a workflow. So uh, learning paths are pretty much courses. Documents are just pieces of text and information. Workflows may be uh, a combination of multiple uh, text and multiple areas users or multiple tasks users require to follow within a certain order um, in order to finish the job. So uh, as an example, here I have a project set up in Revit 2020. So this is how we can set up an NEP project uh, within Pinnacle. 
So if I click within uh, one of the tasks or one of the workflow areas here, uh, so 1.1 is pretty much this first step within my diagram. So users will have this uh, workflow diagram that they can pretty much click within the diagram itself to load related information within the right hand side, or they can also click through the left hand side, which is the tree selection here, where they can also jump from one task to another task. Um, users will be able to also use zoom in, zoom out to go through this uh, diagram uh, and click on any uh, areas depending on what they're trying to achieve. So sometimes you may need to go through a task which may be a yes or no, so you can choose which is the best option uh, to progress with a specific workflow. Um, so this is pretty much uh, what Pinnacle uh, content looks like. So here at the top, you're also going to have an option to search through this content within this specific uh, workflow. Uh, back to my home page. Uh, here within your home page, you're also going to have courses that you have initiated, and it will tell you uh, the percentage uh, under your profile here, you also going to have an overview of how many courses a user has enrolled and how many courses they have completed. Uh, and then under this learning center button, uh, this is the location where users can pretty much double check which courses they have completed and when they have been completed. Uh, also, if those courses have a certificate from Pinnacle, uh, users will be able to also get the certificate from this uh, same location. Uh, the other options you're going to have here, it's pretty much to uh, notifications. So if you have any notifications, it will be listed here. Or here, it will pretty much uh, be your capability to unlock extra features. So Pinnacle has pretty much two main products. And from here, I will jump back into my PowerPoint presentation. So Pinnacle will have pretty much Pinnacle Lite, uh, which is this online self-guided training platform where users can uh, search for content. They can review existing training courses, workflows, etc. But Pinnacle also offers a Pinnacle series uh, option. Uh, the Pinnacle series option unlocks uh, a whole new world of options within a company where users will, uh, can then start creating their own custom content to make them available to other users within the same organization. So companies often will follow uh, specific workflows within daily tasks they require to perform and they can be very customized for a specific company if they're using Pinnacle Series. Uh, within Pinnacle Series, users will also have the ability to uh, cross-check within dashboards uh, how many courses and who has enrolled to those courses within their organization, as well as knowledge smart integration. So they can integrate knowledge smart tests uh, within content. So if users fail within certain areas of the test, Pinnacle will um, tell the user that they must complete certain um, tasks uh, because they failed within the knowledge is more, is smart. Um, so Pinnacle Light has a, a very special offer for HUK clients throughout this uh, month. So Pinnacle Lite within the Autodesk content can be purchased for $29.99, three months access. So only $9.99 per month. Uh, and that's pretty much available uh, for our, all HUK clients. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, feel free to reach us back either on the 1-800 number or through the solutions 
uh, h2ktechnologies.com.au. If you have any other questions, just talk to your salesperson. They can engage with the technical team if required. And then we're happy to answer any further questions you guys may have. I would like to thank you all that have attended today's presentation. Uh, have a nice day and be safe. Thank you.